So guys, uh, this is a transformer and this is also a transformer. This is the special transformer used in SMPS power supply and this is the name of transformer that we are used to. This transformer operates at 50 to 60 hertz while this transformer operates between 10 kilohertz to 1 megahertz. So this transformer operates at a very high frequency compared to our normal transformer and this ensures a smaller size and also high power transfer. Also, this transformer uses a flyback topology where the energy is stored in the transformer core when the transformer is powered by the switching MOSFET and this power is transferred to the load when this uh, switching MOSFET turns off. So, how can we test if this transformer is okay? To test this transformer first, switch our multimeter to 200 ohm and you can see this transformer consists of three windings it consists of the input winding uh, which is connected to the supply and the output winding which is connected to the load and there is a auxiliary winding this auxiliary winding is used to power the pwm controller you know for the pwm controller to operate it needs to be powered so the auxiliary winding is used to power this PWM controller. So let's test if our transformer is okay. Let's measure the resistance is 2.7 ohm. This is the input winding. You can see there, we're getting 2.7 ohms. At the auxiliary winding, we are getting 0.4 ohm. This is 0.4. At the auxiliary winding, we are getting 0.4 ohm. Let's see the output winding. The output winding is between this terminal here. The output winding is 0. It's also 0. 0.4 ohm. The resistance is 0. 0.4 ohm. This shows us the variation of the windings where the input winding is the largest because it is a step down transformer where the input winding is having a resistance of 2.7 ohm. The PWM controller is powered by either 5 volts, 12 volts, or sometimes 25 volts, depending with the controller. Our power to the PWM controller here is 5 volts. Our PWM controller is powered with 5 volts. That is why you find that the auxiliary winding has the same winding resistance as the output winding because our SMPS power supply has an output of 5 volts. So, that is how you can test if your transformer from the SMPS power supply is okay. You can see, you can look at the transformer. This is the input terminals. This is the auxiliary terminals which are supplying the PWM controller. And these are the output terminals.